Okay. I'm sure a few of them would have been police officers and mayors. Yeah. They were smart kids. Javier wanted to be a doctor, didn't he? Justin was. Uh, Javier was wanted to be a doctor. Yeah. He a... Well, I think he would have been like uh, um, Hal. Hal wanted to be a civil engineer. The name is Paolo Fongemi. 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 Bon, Fong. Fongemi. Fongemi. What? Fongemi. Il faut j'essaie d'apprendre à dire ça. Okay, the majority speaks English. Uh, well, I, that's all right. Sorry, right. I don't have to introduce myself. Okay. Uh, see, see the uh. <laughs> Are you going to go? Are you? Go, you are the mayor of Frederick of Batters. Yes. Mayor of Frederick. My God, no, no, don't answer that. I want this to be polite. <laughs> anyway, never no, got a little sense of humor. So, what do you think? Where we're at here? Where were you ten years ago? Ten years ago, I was uh, at home. Uh, we didn't have social media back then, so oh. we only learned the next no morning. No Facebook. No Facebook. We only learned the next morning how the uh, the accident. Actually, my friend and I were we had to go to Halifax, and we were one of the first car that passed through when the uh, the highway was open. So we we passed through the the scene. It was pretty hard to go through it, uh, the debris and. And the snow that was red colored, and uh, so it's uh, it's images that stays in your mind forever. And you announced a few last month. No, the, yeah, the, flag, the last public meeting is. And the, the flag would be half staff. Half mass. Half uh, mass forever. Forever, and uh, January 12 would always be a day of mourning in the city of Adders. Come, they didn't do that nine years ago. I I don't know. Uh, we felt that. Uh, we felt it was the right thing to do, so we never forget and always remember. Tomorrow night is uh, January 13. A 12. A 12. Yeah. In Batters, there's a memorial for the boys. We uh, we cleaned out the uh, the memorial. It's the first year that it's been cleaned out. So Sina. We, we've cleaned it out, and uh, I think it's going to be on a yearly basis. It's going to be cleaned out. Uh, we uh, invited the population to, to pay respect or have a quiet reflection from tonight until tomorrow night. So it's whenever people feel that they, they want to they go or they, they have a, uh, a minute that passing by, they'll stop and drop by. And uh, personally, I'll be there at 6.30 tomorrow night. And I know some council uh, counselors will be there also. And I think the first responders might join me too also. First time you come here? I first time physically here, but I always stop when I pass. So what do you think? What is it tonight? You see in the lights, you see in the mutters, or well, it, it brings a little bit of peace to the heart. We still hurt. It's still, it's still, it's still, uh, it's it'll never, it never heal. The it it impact the community in different ways. Uh, I have I was involved. In, coaching kids uh, I knew some of the kids and some of the parents uh, uh, it impacted us in different ways it, the thing is that you know the next day the the, the day of the uh, when we we had the opportunity to pay our respect to the families and to the the young boys at the Were you there? yeah I was there it was a snowstorm and we waited an hour and a half in line outside in a snowstorm Thousands of people outside. Thousand people. I'll never outside. forget the horse. The horse that were blowing, and the guy yeah. that went on his knees, and yeah. the woman over his shoulder. Oh, that was sad. No. Go ahead. Sorry. When you go in KCI, it was quiet. And to have seven young boys in caskets together, it's it should have. It's Bat surreal. Batters. Do they have full-time uh, firemen? Yeah. How many? Uh, close to 20, and then we have the the part-time volunteers. Goes. I just talked to one of them, won't we'll mention no names, yeah. and uh, first, say it's the first time he ever came here in 10 years, and the look in his eyes. Is there a lot of uh, firemen that seek help yes. after? Yes, and they still do. Still do? Still do, and this is, uh, uh, it, it's still, the community is still hurting, and, and we all deal with it in different ways, but the first responders, it's still hard for them. What do you think when you're here? Pardon me? What do you think when you're here? Do you think this will still be here in 50 years from now? It was, uh, I think it will forever be here. 